Hello everyone, welcome to the Geo Ecologist. I am Dr. Krishnanand and you have been watching my videos on various topics of geography, environment, research methodology and off late we have started this series on careers in geography. So continuing with the careers in geography video, in this video we will be learning about the various kinds of payments that is associated to various jobs associated in geography and environment sector in India. So we will be talking about the highest to the lowest paying jobs and also some alternative jobs which geographers many times don't explore or they don't no at all so watch the video till the end because we are going to make it very interesting and if you want any personal connect with me you can connect us on instagram with the same name the geoecologist and also on linkedin with the same name the geoecologist where we can talk one-on-one -on -one and we can solve your problems related to careers or career advices now the first question here is that why is the average payment in geography sector in india low this is the first question that we are going to address and also we'll be looking into that are there alternatives apart from the careers in academia or the pure research what are the alternatives if there are and what are the requirements for these alternatives so let's talk it all in this video and if you are new user to this channel welcome please do subscribe to our channel and don't forget your comment matters on these videos because we pick the next video topic from your comments that you do so if you have any questions any queries anything to say definitely comment in the box below and don't forget to share these videos with more and more people so now let's understand and learn about the various kinds of payments associated to jobs in geography and understand it for the betterment for our future Okay, so now let's understand the basic idea of these highest paying jobs in India and also some questions related to it first. So which geography career pays the most? That is the first question I'm sure you would be interested. And also let's break down the highest paying careers in India in terms of its industries. Also we'll be focusing on certain industries more because these industries are the highest paying job makers. So remember GIS, remote sensing, urban planning or government sectors and also we'll be looking into the exact road map to these particular sectors so now let's begin so the first thing is that everybody knows whosoever is doing geography or is planning to do geography is the career in academia when i say academia it basically means teaching professionals in schools and colleges at university level research institutes and also some researchers who are doing independent research now professor lecturer assistant professor associate professor so these kind of jobs i'm sure you must be hearing around you this is one of the most common and traditional jobs in geography that we talk about so remember our country needs teachers of good quality still so there is a dearth of good teachers and definitely in times to come you'll see more and more entrepreneurs coming into this particular education field so first of all look into the average salary as per the current status so for these kind of jobs the average salary ranges between 7 to 15 here now so 15 lakhs per annum if you can observe if you are an assistant professor you'll be somewhere getting around 7 to 15 depending upon your experience also is it a private university or a government university now what is the requirement for this particular job masters in geography in the related field then you have to have a PhD and I'm sure you know that if you have a PhD you will get more weightage so the chance of selection will be more you have to have some net qualification set qualification as per state terms and also some research experience and some sectors which are booming sectors for example climate change and alternatives of environment urban studies urban planning GIS these are the most important fields where you have good skills and you have good skills will give you good jobs so this is something that you'll see now professors at IIT they are earning somewhere around 14 15 17 18 depending upon experience as well so the question is is there any alternative to this do we have any other jobs if it is related to academia if you really want to do research if you want to continue in geography which other sector is important so one sector I would tell you is the tourism sector which very few geographers are looking at if you are a specialist in geography if you really like to travel if you really want to travel and write tourism sector is very open for you not just Indian tourism but world tourism as well so there is one thing that you should look into and in the videos if you're really interested in future we'll be talking about the tourism industry specifically now alternative career options so people don't look into publication houses I'm sure you know that content is being created 
books are in demand and definite study materials are in demand and so are the geographers in demand because if you have an experience of writing understanding editing if you can do some teamwork and if you have the understanding of how a book is written then this job is for you publication houses many big publication houses are hiring a lot of advertisements are seen across newspapers and also if you observe on linkedin posts you'll see several advertisements from these publication houses coming to coaching institutes in india there are numerous coaching institutes some of them are really uh, exploitative i would say because they give you more working hours they don't pay you but there are great coaching institutes as well so it all depends upon your opportunities around you where you are located and you can look into some coaching institutes use for particular examination now the requirement here is that you must have some experience of that particular exam for which the coaching is working so suppose if you are a UPSC aspirant you must have qualified at least one of the levels either pre or mains at least once so that you know this is the first requirement for these kind of jobs if you have no experience then with more experience in teaching and learning later on in your life you can venture into these kind of jobs otherwise these jobs won't fit you come to NGOs there are numerous NGOs working in the health sector in the education sector and there are many other sectors where geographers are required so remember NGOs are one of the areas but NGOs are not very high paying jobs if you say so then you have survey agencies there are numerous independent and government organizations for surveys which would be there as per your syllabus if you look into your syllabus of geography across universities you have field survey as one of the major papers field techniques as one of the major papers core papers of geography and geographical field work is the most important thing so if you're good with field experience if you're good with field research then this job could be there then you have research institutes of various nature various kinds private to public so you can look into that alternative career as well but remember the pay grade won't change much for a fresher for experience the pay grade may cross 15 lakhs per annum as well come to the next GIS industry many people ask that are there career options in GIS and how high paying are these these are really lucrative jobs high paying jobs but all depends upon your skill here because this is skill based job so you can work as a GIS analyst developer consultant data scientist and with AI and data science coming as more remember opportunities are growing but only for those people who are really good at these opportunities so if you observe 5 to 12 lakh is an average package that you get but as you grow with experience you can imagine the highest payment in this sector so GIS softwares you should know at least ArcGIS QGIS which are open source as well spatial analysis remote sensing and programming languages such as Python and R are must for today's world because AI also has come in and database management so if you have the knack of learning these things if you enjoy doing these things this sector is for you because there are a lot of jobs and good experts are going to be needed in future as well coming to the next is remote sensing specific career now remember remote sensing is a specific science and for this you need a master's degree either in remote sensing or geoinformatics from a good institution where you have learned really well and a strong background of sciences is needed now here is the question mark for geographers in India at many places science degree is not available only arts degree is available in geography so only those people have a career here at least for whom you have bsc or msc or you have mtech degrees so you can look into physics mathematics and computer science knowledge as well because this is mandatory sort of for remote sensing careers now experience now as per the experience you'll be getting more payment so data processing analysis and also looking into the qc's the quality checks and of the products many gis software you know industries are hiring these kind of people then you have internship programs and remote sensing applications and where to find these jobs remember visit the government website visit these gis software websites many times they float it on that information as well comes and you could look into the international conferences the national conferences across the country where you will see that networking happens with these kind of industry leaders so you should look into that so 6 to 14 lakhs per annum is the average salary in this sector as well coming to the next the urban planning jobs or if i would say urban planning environmental planning jobs slum area development jobs you can say renewable energy sector right all these sectors are now booming with private players 
coming in so land use planning zonation gis modeling structuring all these things are being used as a town planner you can work but here your competition is the people who are coming from architecture background people from architecture background have an edge in this so if you really want to go into this you need to also have a second masters in architecture as well so you can join some of the institutions in india which are teaching you architecture so geography plus architecture gives you an edge here and remember it's also a very high paying job but with experience so up to 10 lakhs per annum you can earn from here coming to the government jobs in geography which are very limited and also because we don't have sciences degree many a times so we don't apply for these jobs because say forest survey remote sensing center survey of india so many people who don't have bsc or msc or mtech in geography they cannot apply you need these kind of science degree for these so there also you have some you know high paying jobs as well but these are the major sectors that we talk about now look into the inter-industry comparison at the end so you'll see that roughly GIS industry remote sensing industry planning industry these are the big industries which are paying really well now coming to eighth pay commission now these academia where you have the permanent jobs as an assistant professor associate professor professors their salaries have also increased but remember the salary based job nine to five job does not have much opportunity for the other learning right but here in the industry you have so many incentives beyond your salary as well you can work as a consultant independently as well for other companies you can earn more than what's written here so you have tremendous opportunities also further i would like to tell you that in legal remember legal consultant if you do law or specialize in environmental law you still have more options of earning better than this average package that we discussed in india so it all depends upon your education your skills location demand so all these things are going to be really important and and the key takeaways of this particular session that I told you that I'll be telling in the end is right now focus on in-demand skills. If you're outdated, there is no need for you. So remember GIS, remote sensing, data science, and if I add artificial intelligence, the knowledge of this. And also if you're good with basic reading abilities, basic writing abilities, comprehending abilities, editing skills, right? All these skills will be add on to this. So gain practical experience, try and find out an internship for you projects work for you if you're not having internships and projects experience remember the job is drying soon for you and remember stay updated with the trends in this particular industry this is going to be really important so learn from the basics remember to write a good resume for yourself a good cover letter for yourself these are the basic skills that are needed right so these are going to be really really important in future as well so i hope that this gives you certain insights on what are we looking at and what are the need of today's right so if you have any more query related to particular job sector particular thing that you are interested in you can join us on instagram or on linkedin as well at the geoecologist or you can write in the comment box and the next video will be bringing in on that particular question but your question must be unique and intriguing we try to avoid basic genre questions or general questions so try and be very specific about what is the need what are you facing what are your difficulties and wait and watch the next video in the series of careers in geography so all the best for all your careers enjoy take good care